as you can see, we have a few differences in Blender 2.46 from 2.45. Now, some of the differences are the physics. Now, the physics side of things, you take a look here, you go to Object by pressing F7, or you can just click right there, and you get a subcategory. You get Object Buttons, Physics Buttons, and Particle Buttons. Now, these have all been placed in new locations. The particles are now on their own category, and the physics buttons are grouped together. You may also notice a new one here, cloth, which we'll be talking about later on. So we have now soft body, cloth, fluid, and fields, and collision as well. And so this is basically the physics buttons, okay? Now if we go over to the particle buttons, you'll see that we can now start a particle simulation. Now there's something brand new about the particle system, and that is that it's been completely ripped out and redrawn and placed back in again. So this actual particle system um, is brand new. It's been completely redesigned. So I can add a brand new particle system and I can give the particle system a name so we'll call this fur. Because it's all changed. You have emitter, reactor and hair. Now obviously you know that the emitter will emit objects or sorry emit particles. So if you're looking for fireworks, smoke, other stuff like that so if you're looking to do fireworks, uh, as I say, smoke and all the rest of it, the emitter object is the best. Then you have the reactor. This re reacts with the particle simulation. And you can choose the target object that it's going to react with. Also then you have hair, which is basically strands for the particle system. Now, hair can also be used for graphics, for fur, which is basically hair, and it can be used uh, for many other stuff that you are using, such as wire, cable, everything else. But it'll be a little bit hard to do that. So, you can see here that it's been completely redesigned. You've had all of these new features of Blender 2.46. Now, first of all, I can choose the amount. So if I increase the amount and I increase the segments and so forth, I can make these random or even. It's basically all the same that we had before. Now here, we enable the particle system during interactive display. Now you can switch that off if it's slowing down your computer. So if I increase the object, and the normals. As you can see there, we've created a simple particle system or simulation. And so, you have the particle system. You have the simulation. And you can say random. You can also increase this. Rotational random and also random scattering and as you can see when you do random scattering it scatters it randomly around now I can decrease this so it brings it in a little bit and as you can see that's what you get I can even bring it into minus figures Whoops. as you can see it does something very strange like that they're basically coming out the other end so there really are lots of things you can do with this lots and lots now also what you have here is you know the global effects so as you've got the global environment which is this entire thing here this is the this is the 3d viewport but 
technically the environment that we're working in is called the globe. Now, global environments being the effectors. So this means the x, the y, and the z axis. As you can see, they're x, y, and z. And as you can see, if I increase this along the x axis, it increases along that way. And the thing that I love now is the z axis. The fact that it actually works now instead of before where I couldn't really get the right settings and it wasn't really working that well either. <coughs> so you can have multiple directions if you excuse me like so. So you can really create some interesting and fun effects with this. And you can try out some new stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to shift click and sh set these all to zero. You can also say the drag property. As you can see, as I increase the drag property, they actually go in, as you can see. Let's increase this. Okay, so that's how that one works. You can say brown if I increase this, you'll see that the particles are moving in all kinds of different ways, the hair. And as you can see, some of them are going really long. So the brown is basically specifying the amount of brown movement. Okay, so if I change this to zero, and let's increase the dampening. As you can see, when you increase, increase the dampening, the particles, if you will, get heavier. They become more damp. And so they go in. <coughs> Sorry. Now, the visualate, visualization is basically allowing you to choose between axes and all kinds of different stuff. It's allowing you to choose between a uh, material, saying emitter, died and parents. As you can see, that's the effect that we get. And again, as you can see here, it's really bogging down my computer, so I can just switch it off, and so now I can work freely, and then I can render it after. So you get that effect. Okay. But normally it would leave it on. Well, you can choose whichever one. You've got billboard and so forth. I can kind of switch these off instead of having died on. Um, we can press Alt A, and if we change this to emitter you might see that you can get some all cool effects uh, with the billboard okay it's pretty awesome and as you can see there you get all these cool effects now we can increase the normals and that will help displace them and this is the type of thing you would use for smoke believe it or not but you'd have to use the material in order to do that okay where were we okay so as you can see I'll leave you to play around with this because I told you about the um, the particle system before and as you can see now you have all the options and settings okay that you would like so it's been completely ripped out of 2.45 and completely replaced in 2.46 so it works better, it's faster, it's more efficient, and also it can be quite time-saving just by clicking this little button right here. So, as you can see, there are many, many different things you can do inside of Blender, especially with the particle system. And they really do help. <laughs>